Ladies and gentlemen, you see before you, from our nation's capital, the musical ambassadors of the Army. The Department of the Army proudly presents the United States Army Field Band. Please welcome to the podium our commander, Lieutenant Colonel Jim Key. States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the governed, a democracy in a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity, for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and join us in singing our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Staff Sergeant Heath Sorensen, narrator for the United States Army Field Band. On behalf of the men and women of the organization, it is our pleasure and privilege to be with you today, and we hope to provide you with a memorable concert of music. Before we continue with the music, we'd like to introduce one of our sponsors for this afternoon's program. She is the music director of 89.1 WEMU. Please welcome to the microphone, Miss Linda Yawn. Thank you, Sergeant Sorensen. Thank you for being here today to wrap up So Long Sunday for the 2015 Ann Arbor Summer Festival. I see so many faces who have been here since the early part of June, and you're here today. Just give yourselves a round of applause. 
A round of applause goes to everybody on the team for the 2015 Hanover Summer Festival, including executive and artistic director, Amy Nesbitt. And a round of applause goes to the corporate sponsors who have made things happen so beautifully for us throughout this entire uh, period, nearly of a month, despite the rain. We did it, didn't we, Ann Arbor? With corporate sponsorship including Owen W. and Toyota, M Live Media Group, Varsity Ann Arbor and Park, uh, Apartments, University of Michigan Credit Union and media sponsorship from 89.1 WEMU. After we have this magnificent concert at about 6.45, Hudang is going to start and then it will be George Bedard and the Kingpins to wrap up So Long Sunday with tonight's special film, Back to the Future. But now, back to the music. And this afternoon's music is truly special. We welcome, again, the United States Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus. And they are under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Jim Keene. An Ann Arbor welcome on the 5th of July for the United States Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus. You having a good weekend, Independence Weekend? It is truly a pleasure and an honor to be here on behalf of the men and women of the United States Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus. It's great to be here at the A2SF. You know, in the Army, we have a lot of uh, acronyms. So when I was speaking to the director, I said, so A2, I, I don't get it. And she looked at me like, seriously? She said, Ann Arbor. 
So, so what's up with this yellow M that's all over the place? Well, you'll recognize that for today, we dress specially if you look at the colors on our pants. Well, without further delay, we'd like to continue with the music, and we hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you very much for inviting us to Ann Arbor.
Something is brewing, about to begin. I can't put my finger on what lies in store, but I, I feel what's to happen. All happened before. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You'll find the fun and snap, the job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake, a lark, a spree. It's very plain to see that a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down, medicine go down, just a spoon. Sugar helps the medicine go down in a most delightful way. Though Robin feathering his nest has very little time to rest, while gathering his bits of twine and twig, for every task in his pursuit, he has a merry tune to toot.
don't lie down upon your bed while the moon drifts in the skies. Stay awake, don't close your eyes. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Hum did a little little hum did a lie Hum did a little little hum did a lie Before I was afraid to speak when I was just a lad Me father gave me nose a tweak and told me I was bad But then one day you learned a word that saved your aching nose The biggest word I ever heard This is how it goes Oh, oh supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll Always sound precocious, supercalifragilistic, expialidocious. Did a little little hum did a lie, hum did a little little hum did a lie. Hum did a little little hum did a lie, hum did a little little hum did a lie. He traveled all around the world and everywhere he went. He'd use his word and then they'd say, There goes a clever gent. When Dukes of Maharajas pass the time of day with me. I say me special word and then they ask me how pretty Oh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious But better use it carefully, or it may change your life. For example... Yes. Once I said it to Miguel. And? And now my gal's me wife. <laughs> what a pretty little thing she is, too. She...
quite a few U of M fans in our audience today, right? Well, here in the field band, we happen to have some University of Michigan graduates. So, field band members, if you still bleed blue and graduated from the U of M, stand now and show your pride. We also have in the field band a former member of the Ann Arbor Symphony, Staff Sergeant Marlena Dillenbeck. <laughs> Virtuoso cornetist, composer, and bandmaster, Hermann Belstedt, immigrated to America from Germany in 1867 at the age of nine. He began study on the cornet with his father, and by age 15 was being billed as the boy wonder. Throughout his prestigious career, he was renowned for his wide range and incredible tonguing technique, which he showcased in his well-known compositions for cornet, including Napoli, Variations on the Carnival of Venice, and La Mandolinata. To perform Herman Belstedt's La Mandolinata, please welcome our soloist from Sartell, Minnesota, Master Sergeant Michael Klima.
Before we continue with the music, we'd like to take just a moment to invite you to come find us on social media. You can like us on Facebook, tweet us on Twitter, give us a plus on Google+, and come check out some of our videos on our YouTube channel. We'd also love to hear your comments on our concert today. Now, if you'd care to write to us, we ask that you refer to your printed program or inside you'll find our complete mailing address and our email address. We look forward to seeing you on social media and would love to hear from each and every one of you. Now, it's hard to believe that Billy Joel's musical career has touched our lives across the span of four decades, but the legacy of the piano man has left an indelible mark on American culture through years of tragedy and triumph. The Soldiers Chorus joins the concert band presenting music of the great American singer and songwriter, Billy Joel.
Soldiers Chorus. That's just one example of a great variety of music. We invite you to listen after you leave us today via our website, armyfieldband.com, where you can enjoy listening to these and several other selections of the United States Army Field Band. Uh, selections from the Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus, America's Big Band, the Jazz Ambassadors, and our pop rock group, 
the volunteers. All of this music is available for your listening pleasure, and several selections are even available for free download. We look forward to seeing you online at armyfieldband.com. Ann Arbor, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the United States Army Field Band. Its mission, to explore strange new towns, to seek out new patriotism and new audiences, to boldly go where no band has gone before.
The Andrews Sisters were the first female vocal group to earn a gold record, and in 1941 released their major hit, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. The three sisters spent the World War II era in full support of our troops, entertaining the Allied forces extensively in America, Africa, and Italy, and were nicknamed the Sweethearts of the Armed Forces. To perform Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, please welcome our Soldiers Chorus Trio, Staff Sergeants Megan Whittier, Catherine Lair, and Michaela Anthony. Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus had the great opportunity to perform at Greenfield Village with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. And after uh, a performance a couple of days ago, you never know what's going to get someone in the audience excited. So one lady, after we played this whole big set, she came up and talked to me, and she was in tears. And I thought she was going to talk to me about how you know, moved she was by the patriotic message and the representation of soldiers and service members all around the world. And you know what she said? She said, she was sobbing. She said, I just love Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. Well, there it is. It's been a great honor to perform for you today. Um, our favorite part of our performances is when we get the opportunity and the privilege of recognizing those of you out in our audience who have served your country. So on behalf of the men and women of the United States Army Field Band and Soldiers Chorus, we want to honor you for your service. So 
when you hear a service song that means something to you and if you've served or if you have, have a family member who has served, please stand so that you may be recognized. This is your Armed Forces Salute.
We could play here all day, couldn't we? Actually, the sponsors of the festival said that we couldn't. So we appreciate very much your support. You are a tremendous audience, one that was quite unexpected. You know, they gave us the keys back in 1962 to the Hill Auditorium, but we lost them, I think. So we had to play out here. We weren't sure exactly how this was going to go. But we thank you very much, Ann Arbor, for being a tremendous audience. Thank you so much. Happy Independence Day weekend.